Hi dan Assalamualaikum My name is Sonia with matrix number D64968 Is here to share with you guys about Sarkop Terajais Or at least about what I understand about Sarkop Terajais So like in this video there are like many many words that are hard to pronounce And I had to like google them like mostly one by one so if my pronunciation is still wrong, forgive me. Not to mention this lighting is terrible, but it's okay, we'll continue. So sarcoptergites are derived from osti... osti... Ties? osti... Ties, which basically meaning they have bones. And another interesting thing about sarcoptergites that like make them different from like other fish is that they have lobe fin... lobe fins. Lobe fin, yeah. And like the reason they're called lobe fin fish is because like at the end of their fins, there's like like a circle, a circularish type of shape. And like not to mention like these sarcoptergites are like really really old. They like appear like three hundred and like a three hundred and eighty five million years ago. Okay, another interesting thing about sarcoptergites is that they have cosmoid scales and their tails are homocircle, hence is like why they're called lobe fin fishes. Back to that again. They also have like um, cranial bones, which is cranial is basically like the skull part of their head, yeah. And they have um, rooted teeth, which are made from enamel and they use their gas bladder for respiration and like the most interesting part is that they are able to breathe through air now sarcoptergites can be divided into two which are coelocanth no coelocanth no i don't know coelocanth 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 and another one being dipnoi but we'll get back to that later so we're gonna focus on coelocanth first which basically brings out the meaning hollow spine. Silicans have a lung that's made of like fat filled sacs. I don't know what the fat's supposed to help in breathing honestly. And like since they are osteo... I forgot how to pronounce it. Osteities. Oh my goodness. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Although silicans are osteities, their bones are actually quite reduced and they actually have cartilage to support their bodies like even in the name itself coelocanths coelocanths meaning hollow hollow spine but they still fall under bony fishes i think and also they osmo regulate by retention of urea so basically they don't really like excrete not excrete maybe excrete but like <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying basically they are resistant to the excretion of urea via the kidneys. Now moving on to dipnoi which are lung fishes and salamanders. They respirate using their lungs. Now fishes usually have like gills for respiration but these guys they use their lungs and it's like critical for their survival or else they will act die and <laughs> they can drown. They can drown if they don't breathe air. I don't even know why I'm getting so worked up about it but it's like it's just different from other fish, you know? And like African and South American lungfish, they can like survive even though there's like no water because they use this process called estivation, which is basically the animal, in this case the fish, the lungfish, is like remaining dormant because you know like it's hot and the weather's dry, so there's no water. They will like dig a hole into the ground, a small little hole like that. And then they would like go inside that hole and then they would like secrete a staggering amount of mucus and then that mucus would like form a shell around them so like that, that shell would protect them from complete dissociation until like the water comes back you know hence they would just like remain dormant in that cocoon they made and that's all I have to share with you guys today I definitely learned a lot of new things because like it's just like wow, you know? Okay anyways, that's all I have to say. Um thank you for watching. Bye bye.